Hello and welcome to the Nifty Keys video tutorial. First we'll look at the anatomy of Nifty Keys, then we'll explore the function mode, the arpeggiator, voicing modes and auto chord. On top of the unit we have four CV gate outputs. The CV outputs are used to control the frequency of a voltage controlled oscillator module. The output voltages range from 0 to 10 volts. The gate outputs go high on each note and are useful for opening and closing envelopes. Next we have modulation output jacks. The velocity jack outputs a voltage corresponding to the velocity of the latest key press. The aftertouch jack outputs a voltage corresponding to the pressure exerted on the keyboard. The aftertouch update speed can be adjusted for a smoother or snappier response. Press function, then turn the glide knob clockwise to increase the smoothing. The mod wheel has two modes, manual and LFO. In manual mode, the mod jack will send a constant voltage adjusted by the position of the mod wheel. In LFO mode, the jack sends a waveform. The clock jack outputs a 5 volt pulse, useful for synchronizing drum machines and sequencers. In master clock mode, you can adjust the speed with the arpeggiator rate knob. You can also stop and start the clock by holding function and pressing ARP. In slave clock mode, it'll synchronize with the incoming MIDI clock. Change the clock division setting to adjust the rate. The reset jack has two modes, clock and key. In clock mode, the jack sends a 5 volt pulse when the clock is stopped for resetting a drum machine or sequencer before starting a song. In key mode, it sends a pulse when the first key of the keyboard goes down. The expression jack outputs a voltage corresponding to the position of an expression pedal connected to the expression jack at the back of Nifty Keys. Nifty Keys has two multiples, named multiple 1 and multiple 2. Multiples receive an input signal at the first jack and replicate the same signal at the two output jacks. The two out jacks are used to send one or two signals out of the back of Nifty Keys into your mixer or audio interface. The out one and out two front jacks can be used to sum the audio signals at their two respective input jacks. You can set the volume of the out one and out two quarter inch jacks using the main volume knob. Please use mono quarter inch jacks for the out one and out two outputs. The out one and out two signals are also sent to the headphones output jack on the back of Nifty Keys. Out one is sent to the left, out two is sent to the right. You can adjust the volume with the headphones volume knob. On the control panel we have an ARP enable button, turns the ARP on or off. An ARP rate swing knob sets the rate of the ARP and doubles as a swing knob when function is lit. The range knob sets the arpeggiator range from 1 to 4 octaves. The bend range switch sets the range of the pitch bend wheel, two semitones up or down, or one octave up or down. The latch button, when lit, holds the gates open, allowing to play the arpeggiator hands-free and sustain envelopes endlessly. Nifty keys can also be latched with a sustain pedal connected at the back. The glide knob adds smoothing to the CV outputs, allowing you to glide between notes. The pitch bend wheel is used to bend the pitch of CV outputs. It also transmits MIDI pitch bend messages. The mod wheel controls the mod output or LFO depth. Also transmits MIDI modulation messages. The octave switch is a three position switch allowing to shift the octave up or down. At the back of Nifty Keys we have a USB port used for firmware updates and MIDI over USB. We also have 5 pinned in, MIDI in and MIDI out. MIDI in is used to control Nifty Keys externally. Nifty Keys can be used as a MIDI keyboard, sending generated MIDI through the out jack, which also serves as a MIDI through. 
transmitting data received over USB or from the MIDI in jack. You can change the MIDI channel of the inputs and outputs. This will be covered shortly in this video. When Nifty Keys is in function mode, every key of the keyboard becomes a function key. Press the function button to enter or exit function mode. When function mode is enabled, the function LED is lit. When setting most functions, the function LED will blink twice and Nifty Keys will automatically exit the function mode. Some settings can be toggled on or off by pressing the same function key multiple times. The function LED will blink once for on and twice for off. Number keys have numbers 0 to 16 printed above them and are used for functions that require a number, like setting a MIDI channel number. The first C key toggles local on or off. This is on by default and useful when you want to control nifty keys with the keyboard and control panel. If you wish to use the keyboard to play external MIDI instruments without affecting the CV gates, you can turn local off, which will isolate the keyboard from the CV gates. In this mode, the keyboard portion of Nifty Keys is a MIDI master controller, and the CV gates portion of Nifty Keys becomes a slave MIDI to CV converter. The second B key with 12 printed above it is used to set the MIDI input channel for CV gate 1. In function mode, press this key followed by a number key labelled 1 through 16 to set the MIDI channel number. The process is the same for setting the MIDI input channel for CV gate 2, 3 and 4 using the white keys labelled 13, 14 and 15. Same applies for setting the MIDI input channels for zones 1 and 2 using the 3rd, G and A keys and for setting the keyboard's MIDI output channel using the third B key. Use the last C sharp and D sharp keys to transpose the keyboard up or down by a semitone. Hold shift at the same time to transpose by an octave. Press both keys at once to cancel the transposition. Hold the shift key and press the last E key to toggle between internal and external clock modes. The function LED will blink twice for internal mode in this mode, Nifty Keys is the master and generates its own analog and MIDI clock. The function LED will blink once for external clock mode, or slave mode. In this mode, Nifty Keys responds to an external MIDI clock. Press the top F key to toggle gate re-triggering on or off. When on, the gates will pulse on every depressed key. When off, the gate will go high on the first key and only go low after the last key is released. If in a state of panic, press the last B key. This will close all the gates and send all notes off to the MIDI outputs. Hold the shift key and press the last B key to reset to factory defaults. Press function followed by the first A key with the number five above it to set glide mode to glide. In this mode, all notes glide. Press function followed by the first B key with number 6 printed above it to set glide mode to legato. In this mode, the first played note doesn't glide, only the second and subsequent notes. There are two voltage ranges available for expression, velocity, aftertouch and the mod jacks. Press function followed by the highest G key for 0 to 5 volts or function followed by the highest A key for 0 to 10 volts. The reset jack has two modes, clock and key. In clock mode, the jack sends a 5 volt pulse when the clock is stopped for resetting a drum machine or sequencer before starting a song. In key mode, it sends a pulse when the first key of the keyboard goes down. Press function followed by the last D key for key mode. Press function followed by the last E key for clock mode. The mod wheel has two modes, manual and LFO. Press function followed by the manual key to set it to manual mode. The mod jack will send a constant voltage adjusted by the position of the mod wheel. 
press function followed by the LFO key to set it to LFO. In LFO mode, the jack sends a waveform. Press function followed by the following keys to change the waveform to triangle, ramp, sawtooth, square, or random. In master clock mode, you can adjust the LFO speed with the rate knob. In MIDI slave mode, the LFO will synchronize to the incoming MIDI clock. In this mode, we change the speed with the clock division setting. To change the clock division setting, press function followed by the function key labeled 16, 8 or 6. Nifty Keys has a fun arpeggiator that doubles as a sequencer. The white function keys labelled 1 to 4 are used to enable or disable the ARP for each voice. Say we want to enable the ARP on CV Gate 1, press function, then press the white function key labelled 1 to toggle the ARP on or off. One flash for on, two flashes for off. The first four black keys set the arpeggiator mode to up, down, up, down, or random. To set the ARP into sequencer mode, press the sequencer function key, followed by a sequence of keys. Press function when you're done, and the ARP will play back the sequence, transposing it to the key that you press. In master clock mode, use the rate knob to adjust the speed of the ARP. In clock slave mode, ARP note resolution is affected by the rate knob. Hold function and turn the rate knob clockwise to add some swing. Nifty Keys has four voicing modes, some of which can be split into two zones. Both zones arpeggiate independently, allowing you to play a lead with one hand and arpeggiate with the other. Press function followed by the split function key to toggle split on or off. The split zone can be any of these C keys. Press function followed by the C key to set the split zone. For this video I'm using middle C as the split zone. In one voice mode, when splitting is off, all of the keys control the four CV gates in unison. When split is on, keys in zone 1 control CV gates 1 and 2 in unison, and the keys in zone 2 control CV gates 3 and 4 in unison. In two voice mode, when splitting is off, the first key you press controls CV gates 1 and 3 in unison, the second and subsequent keys control CV gate 2 and 4 in unison. When splitting is on, the first key you press in zone 1 controls CV gate 1, and the second and subsequent keys in zone 1 control CV gate 2. The first key you press in zone 2 controls CV gate 3, and the second and subsequent keys in zone 2 control CV gate 4. In free voice mode, when splitting is off, the first key you press controls CV gate 1 and 4 in unison, the second key controls CV gate 2, the third and subsequent keys control CV gate 3. There are two split modes available for three voice mode. When we set the voicing to three voice, we flip zones one and two. When the function LED blinks once, we're in low chord high lead mode. In this mode, when split is on, zone one is a three voice chord using CV gate one, two and three. Zone two controls CV gate four. When the function LED blinks twice, we're in bass and high chord mode. In this mode, when split is on, zone 1 controls CV gate 4, zone 2 controls CV gate 1, 2 and 3. In four voice mode, you can play up to four notes at the same time using the four available CV gate outputs. Split has no effect in this mode. The first key you press controls CV gate 1, the second key controls CV gate 2, the third key controls CV gate 3, and the fourth and subsequent keys control CV gate 4. The auto chord enables you to play chords with a single key. Auto chord applies to the MIDI output and to CV gates when voicing mode is set to 4 voice. To enable auto chord, press function, auto chord on. To teach Nifty Keys a chord, press function followed by the auto chord learn key. Press some keys to define a chord 
and press function when done. To disable it, press function and auto cord off. Updating Nifty Keys is the same simple process on a Mac and a PC. On a PC, double click the Updater app, click Yes to open it, click Load, browse to the update file and click Open. Now click Update, click OK, done. On a Mac, double click the Updater app, click Load, browse to the update file, click Open, click Update. Click OK and close the updater. Thanks for watching and have fun.